Michael, what do you remember about this Virginia offense from last year and how different the uh, coach was talking about the quarterback position looking a lot better for them? Oh, yeah, they have a dual threat quarterback this year, so we got to stop two plays. When it's a pass, we have to stop this first, second, or maybe even third look, and then once he's trying try to take off and run, we got to stop that too. What, do you, what did you like most about the, the game last week in the second half that you guys did as far as maybe secondary and, and pass pro and everything else? We just went out and played our standard of football. We didn't we stopped doing unnecessary stuff, getting outside of our character and just played good Miami football. Can you talk a little about Jaquan's speech and, and just you know him, him being that guy who, who steps up in that in those moments? Or is it that's just Jaquan. Like anytime anything going wrong, going right, he's always talking. He's always going to give us like some type of knowledge, and because it, it's not, I don't look at it as just speeches, or like the Hollywood speeches. Like he's giving us actual knowledge, and as a leader, you have to be a leader that can follow. So I'm following what he say, and then I'm going to the younger guys and preaching the same thing he said. Well, Michael, one of the things that Gerald said that uh, Jaquan talked about was Amon and Malik. Um, you guys have, you know, seen this happen to two of your teammates now, two of your friends. Has it taught you guys to appreciate this game a lot more and oh, not yeah. take it for granted? Oh yeah, because I know those two guys get everything they possibly can just to get back out here, just for one snap. And you, like days where we're deep off into the season and you kind of get routine, you just think about them like they're trying to find something to do. Like they have to actually think about life now outside of football. And that has never happened because ever since they was little kids, in the fall, you play football. In the spring, you're waiting to play football. So you just have to take advantage of every day. How tough was it for you guys to hear that news about Amon? Oh, it was real tough because Amon, people can say what they want to say. Amon, wherever I get drafted, Amon is going to be the reason why. Because I competed against him every day in practice. And so for that to happen, it hurt. D. Wiggins has played a lot more lately. And do, I think three pass interference penalties yeah. on him. What makes him such a tough receiver maybe to you know, cover in practice? Just he, he's, he has that dog in him. Like, when he first got here, I made sure, like, I woke him to college, like, jammed him up, did all that, and he came back the next play, and every play, it didn't matter if I jammed him and he beat me, he's always gonna bring his A game, so that separates him. Awesome. Thank you.